it on my own now I could be alone now Staying out in SoCal That is how it goes now I could live without you Yeah, I used to doubt you Now we all around you Maybe I can't live without you and I am going to be a CEO of a billion dollar tech company one day. For the past few years, I've been an engineer at CodeDefy. That's code defy, as in defying the status code together, which is legitimately what our slogan is. But I actually just got promoted to product manager, which basically means I am CEO of a product. So, you know, I'm moving on up. So I maybe slash definitely got cards for the product made with me listed as CEO on it. So that's pretty exciting. But what's even more exciting is what happened after I was promoted. Basically my crazy coworker, Melinda. Yeah, that's her. I think I need a new smile. Here we go. My face is scrunched up in like every single one of these pictures. I'm thinking something a little bit more open mouth, but like with surprised eyes. Would you believe that she is one of the best coders I have ever met? Her, try to ignore her. Anyway, when I was promoted, she invited me to move into the God Complex, which is this invite only loft that's owned by Reed Masterson. Welcome to the God Complex. The only place where cocky coders are encouraged to be even cockier. This place. <gasps> Hi, I'm Sabrina. And Reed is this reclusive young tech genius who created Haley, which is short for Home Automated Living Environment Enhancement that Codify actually bought a year or two ago for an enormous amount of money. And at the time, he refused to do any press. So there's legitimately nothing on him online, except for the fact that he now lives in this loft in Venice, where he invites all these rising stars of Silicon Beach, which is LA's version of Silicon Valley, to live together. I just wanted to let you know that I have been following your career for years and your rise and your accomplishments have been truly impressive and inspiring. And I'm really looking forward to living here and getting to know you better. I'm Hakeem. Nice to meet you. Okay, I can fix this. Oh, I'm so sorry. I j That's embarrassing. No, I totally get it. Oh, well, to be fair, you do live here, so you must be impressive. What do you do? Uh, I have this app called Gorilla Mob. It uh, organizes flash volunteering events. So, you know, things like uh, guerrilla gardening, uh, graffiti cleanup, uh -huh. bake sales, things yeah. like that. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. I've never heard of it, but I have to look into it. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, no, you wouldn't have. Uh, it's, it's just been in beta for the last three years. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what do you do for work? Oh, I'm a barista. Just on the side while I work on my app. Oh, got it. I'm Marie's best friend. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just mean, no, I thought. No, I totally get it. Okay, I promise everyone else here is really impressive. <laughs> Way to go. Offending the nice guy with the charity app. Great start. Ignore him. He has this whole thing about how he's not successful enough to live here. I'm not. I know, I didn't say it was inaccurate. Let's meet everyone else. Moles, get out here! And then this is Lee. Oh, I didn't see him there. Yeah, he does that. I've definitely sat on him. Lee, say hello to the new girl. He works two full-time jobs remotely from here. One's in China, one's in the US. So he's oh. literally always on the computer. Hi, I'm Sabrina. Uh, I had to work two jobs too, so I totally get what you're going through. I don't have to work two jobs. I'm on pace to retire by 32 and a half, so don't bother me while I'm working and don't eat my yogurt. Honest talk, you're not that fun to introduce to people. Honest talk? What the hell is wrong with me today? You'll get used to him. I eat his yogurt all the time. I heard that. <laughs> Finally! 
Oh my God. I just realized I have to pee worse than I've ever had to pee in my life. Molly, Sabrina, Sabrina, Molly. Try not to insult her. She's literally a rocket scientist. <laughs> That's our Melinda. I know, she's crazy, right? Can you believe that she's one of the best coders here in Silicon Beach? She is my girlfriend. And don't call it Silicon Beach. Makes you sound like a douche. I give up. <laughs> I'm kidding, hon. <laughs> Welcome to the house. <laughs> well, don't, but really, don't call it Silicon Beach. Don't listen to her. She's just bitter. She works in Pasadena. Hey, no sass from the barista gallery. I work at NASA. I'm living my dream. I have nothing to be bitter about. And yet. <laughs> if I'm being truly honest, the fact that I'm going to be living with four other people that share the same belief in themselves is really exciting and a little intimidating, but as long as I believe in myself, as I always have, I think I'm gonna be okay. God damn, the pee was better than straight sex. <laughs> hey, just because I'm a lesbian doesn't mean I can't appreciate man parts once upon a time. Okay. And the god of the complex himself. Oh, help. Don't mess this up. Don't mess this up. Don't mess this up. Don't mess this up. Excuse me? Uh, this just looks really expensive and I don't want to ruin it. Right, thanks. Uh, yeah, it is expensive. You want right over there? Okay. Um, I'm Sabrina, by the way. Right on. It's nice to meet you. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I'm super excited to be living here, so thank you for approving me. And your mission aligns perfectly with my beliefs and my values, so... I'm really looking forward to getting to know you better. Right on. Uh, I gotta take a shower, but um, let's all hang out or something later. Yeah. Okay, back to my normal self again. Thank freaking God. Yo, what's going on with your face? What's, what's happening here? Is it just me or is he way better looking than you'd expect him to be? Lesbian. It's just you. Everyone looks better in a wetsuit. I guess because there's no photos of him online, I assumed he was gonna be weird and nerdy looking. No offense, Hakeem. <laughs> so much offense taken. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I have unpacking to do. Uh, hey guys, so I just wanted to apologize for acting weird earlier. Uh, I think I'm just really nervous about my new job tomorrow and it's making me not act like myself. You weren't being weird. Don't worry about it. Uh, you weren't there for it. So, uh, Melinda tells me that you're a product manager at Codify? Mm hmm You're not too bought Haley, right? Yes. What are you doing over there? Uh, I had to sign an NDA. You know how it is. Oh. Yeah, that's cool. I've actually been retired these past few years, so. <coughs> unemployed. Yeah, it's not called unemployed if you're rich. No offense, Akeem. Offense taken, again. <laughs> I'm actually starting a new job tomorrow, too, so. Hmm, and we're only just hearing about it today? Well, I had to sign an NDA where I can't even talk about the company I'm at, so. That sounds totally real. And not made up at all. God, God I, I hate, hate when, when we, we do, do that. that. <laughs> <laughs> we are too freaking cute. Oh my God, I have so much unpacking to do. Um, do you have a coffee? Oh, and clearly you do. Yeah, go for it. Welcome to the God Complex. Everything in here runs on a next-gen version of Haley. Enhanced security, custom integration throughout the loft. Haley? Yes, Reed? Turn off Hakeem's tablet. Tablet off. <laughs> Haley? Turn my tablet back on. Tablet on. Haley, get me more wine. Get it yourself, you lazy lush. <laughs> we have a rapport. Why don't you go for it? Um, Haley, make me a latte. Absolutely not. Pretty impressive, right? That's how customizable I made this version. See, since uh, lattes are disgusting, I programmed Haley to only make coffee. And there's all sorts of other useful hacks like that to improve things around the loft. For instance, showers set to exact perfect temperature. And I hacked Netflix to block all the crappy movies. Well, 
I like lattes, and I like hot showers, and I like cheesy chick flicks. So it looks like I'll have a few future requests that will result to some enhancements uh, to Haley. Okay, I mean, if you really like lattes that much, I guess I could go oh, and let me rephrase. rewrite the code for you. Let me you. rephrase. I'll hack into it myself and make it more palatable to my needs. Okay, no, this is not something you can just hack into. Uh, okay. right. <laughs> you don't understand. This is a completely unreleased version of Haley. Hmm. I programmed it myself. All right, it's not something you can just hack into, okay? If security features are impenetrable. I hacked mm -mm. into it in college, so I think I'll be fine. Oh. You went to college? Yes, I did. Of course. Interesting. What is that supposed to mean? Reed didn't go to college, so he has this thing where he thinks less of coders who did. I don't think less of them as coders. I just think they'd be better coders if they didn't go to school. Right. And there's a difference. Where'd you go? You pen. All right. At least that's a stay school. My real issues with all these Ivy League coders who get recruited like crazy coming out of school, even though they have no experience. And then the guys who are smart enough to know they didn't need to go to school, they get passed over, even though they can code circles around the guys that did. But at least with the state school, you were sucking on the teat of a corrupt government while getting your useless degree, so yeah, that's awesome. And I thought he was cute. Well, I think that's enough patronizing for one day. First of all, UPenn is an Ivy League school, dumbass. And second, you learn a lot more than just coding in college, like how to actually interact with other people. I have been talked down to about a lot of things in my life, but graduating from an Ivy League school is definitely a new one. So I'm gonna go before I say something I regret, but um, it's been real. And I really look forward to you getting to know me better. Sorry if I offended you. It's just what I believe. There's no way you're a better coder than me. You're an idiot. Good luck with that. Good morning. <sighs> oh no, did you not sleep at all this night? His code is brilliant. <sighs> I know. He's a douchebag, but a brilliant douchebag. Even you weren't able to hack into this? Honest talk, I never felt like I had to try. Looks like someone's got complexes just as big as his. Hmm. Okay, I'll see you later. Haley, make me a coffee. Yes, Reed. Sabrina Harris, a rising star. So how's your first day going? It's going really well, thank you. Great, we're so happy to have you. Let me introduce you to our newest member of Team Haley 2.0. Okay, so maybe we've been working on an updated version of Haley that we're calling Home.0, but you know, I'm never gonna let Reed know that. Reed, over here. We are equally excited he agreed to grace us with his presence, the creator of Haley himself. We actually pulled Reed out of retirement to work as a senior consultant on the team, so he'll be helping oversee. Senior overseeing? I had no idea. Did you enjoy your latte? Yeah, that just happened. I didn't know it at the time, but that moment played a critical role in my life. And every one of the loft mates, even Hakeem, 
all play a huge role to get me to where I am today. Yes, I am speaking in past tense, not because I'm dead, don't be morbid, but because where I am today is a little thing called CEO of a billion dollar tech company. And this is the story of how the hell that happened. Yeah, and they keep talking often. Go tell them that is their problem. I'll be sipping over here, solving and cracking your codes. What do I need to know? Cause I got thoughts in my head that I 